team in general, it's just like an unwavering belief. And I feel like some of that is because Coach Allen, he's rubbed off on us. It's just no matter what, he's it's an unwavering belief and then a commitment to your brothers. Like no matter what happens, you're going to fight. So I feel like that's one thing about our defense and about our team. No matter what happens, we're going to fight. So I feel like that's just that's just our mindset. That's the mindset of our defense, our team. I just feel like yeah, that's just that's something we hear every day. So it just it's been ingrained in us. <laughs> Miles, uh, Cam said that a couple days ago you guys had a talk and he said you were just a little bit down because you hadn't been making a bunch of plays and stuff. He said he talked to you. I guess what's it like to have a guy like that in your corner? And I mean, just talk about his leadership and what he's done for this team. Oh yeah, C Four is a great leader. He's actually one of the best leaders I've I've been around. Like not only does he make plays on the field and does what he has to do for the defense, but he cares about you as a person. So when you're down, he knows. And when you're down, he's going to try to figure out what he can do to, to help you. And he's really a brother. Like, he's there for you. And just because he's a six-year senior and he's been here for a while, I mean, he, he doesn't look down on you. Like, he treats everyone as equal, and that's one thing I really respect about C4. He's a great leader, and he definitely is helping me. You probably been asked this, but talk about the interception. Kind of what did you see on the play? What kind of happened? And, mm -hmm. um, I mean, how close were you to maybe taking it <laughs> all the way back? <laughs> so, during the interception, we, we started off with in, in a different call, but the offense audible, so we were taught to look to the sidelines, and then we actually audible, so that put me in coverage, and I pretty much just did my job, and the ball came right to me, and then in my mind, I'm just thinking, go. After we played it, everyone was telling me I should have went down, which is true, I should have just went down, but in that moment, I was just thinking, go, just full speed. How has it been kind of transferring from UCLA? How is this been integrating with the team and just kind of what's the feel, the vibe you get from the team just coming in? It's been amazing, really. It's been amazing to see how much they've accepted me in such a short amount of time. Usually when you're a transfer and things like that, people don't really try to accept you. Or people might look at it as like you're trying to take take their job or whatever, things like that. But that hasn't been the vibe here. And I feel like that's a testament to the coaches and the culture that's here. It's really like LEO, the things that they preach, it's, it's real. So I feel like I've been accepted by everybody. And like even when I'm down and some things like that, like I, I know I got my brothers and they just help me to do better and just keep going every day. When you say three and oh, what do you think? I mean when when we say three and oh, I mean it's just an amazing feeling. We're just looking forward to the to the next one, try to go one and oh each week. So that's the that's the mentality. You guys have had 